the whole of heaven is full of faith uh, but also love and also hope all right and i thought let's before i get into faithful finances or faithful healing or faithful vision for your life let's just talk a little bit about this culture of faith the culture of love and the culture of the hope of god that is in heaven now let's just read the scripture to start off in 1 corinthians chapter 13 uh, verse 13 it says there and now abide faith hope love these three but the greatest of these is love all right now it's interesting when he and that scripture talk about abide he's talking about the realm of heaven um you know when we say we abide in him it means we are in christ uh, so therefore when he says this is in the abode of god or the place of where we abide in him in that place and that's also in heaven that's also in him that's also uh, in us the kingdom of god is inside of us and so in that place it needs to be filled with the following three things faith hope and love and so it's important when we then think about faith we mustn't put faith separately from hope and love. We must connect faith with hope and love. Family, over the past six years, Unity with Heaven has really become a family that loves one another. And I want to solidify that family commitment and give you an opportunity to click on a link to become part of our monthly newsletter. So when you click there, I'm going to every month send you a letter in which I will give you some of the playlists of the latest teachings that is available to you. Now there's also a second link and that is a link to become a partner. As a partner, you can now on a monthly basis support Unity with Heaven and of course also going to send a letter once a month out to the partners and there will be some extra resources and also prayers for you. So just click on the link at the bottom and make your family commitment to Unity with Heaven a permanent one. Now let's quickly think about definitions for um, for love and hope and faith. Okay, so let's start with love first. Love is the essence of God. God loves us. He is love. He loves everybody. There's nothing that God does that doesn't have purpose and so the way love is expressed through the lord is through design and through purpose so that's why when god said i love people i'm going to make them food so god then started to design tomatoes and fruits and vegetables and even the animals he designed it because he said i love my children and i want my children to have access to these resources so there's in everything that god creates there's purpose and there's design and so therefore uh, purpose and design is in material things but purpose and design is also in time so every single thing that happens on your timeline has purpose and design to it in order to show god you how much god love you <laughs> because god wants to express himself which is love and, and and he expresses his love through design and purpose and so i want to tell you as you go through your life and you have certain experiences love each one of those experiences you meet different people love each one of those people because all of that is part of god's big plan okay so now that's love now let's just say like this because there is darkness on this earth and there is evil then we will have experiences that is not an expression of God's love. But when you go into heaven, then everything is an expression of God's love. So because God's love is expressed through design and through purpose, then hope and love are very well connected. Because hope is a picture. In essence, if you say, I have a hope, what you're saying is, I have a vision or a picture of my future. And that's hope. So when we come into heaven, when we come close to the Lord, then suddenly our mind just opens up to the future and to the potential, to the picture, to the vision that God has for our future. And so when we come into contact with love, we come into contact with God. Remember, God expresses His love through design and purpose. When I come into contact with Him, then what happens? He transfers purpose, He transfers hope, 
it transfers a vision it gives you a picture of your future that's what happens with us because god is so full of purpose and he's so full of love for us and he wants to let us know that you're not going through life without a future without potential without purpose okay and so that's why hope is a picture of your future then the third one is faith all right now let me read you uh, the scripture uh, that everyone reads about faith and we just talk for a moment about it so we can understand faith so hebrews chapter 11 1 it says now faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen i right, know my definition of faith is maybe a little bit different than most people give it to you i say faith is a receipt okay faith is a receipt of something that god is giving you and in essence is a receipt that you already own it so okay we remember we talked about hope hope is a picture of what god shows you now faith is the receipt that you own that picture it might not have manifested yet in the natural realm but god says you own that picture i explained to the guys there at Golaf church that you know close to where our church is is a chicken shop uh, where you can buy your chicken now when you go there uh, you pay for your chicken then they give you a receipt with a um, an order number and then when the chicken comes out then they shout okay order number 830 and then it's your receipt you say yes me and then they give you your tick your chicken so the receipt is not the chicken you can't eat the receipt but the receipt is the proof that that chicken that they are making is your chicken and you can get it so it's proof of ownership of the chicken although the chicken is still being made all right now think about faith faith is then a receipt uh, a proof of ownership of that picture that the lord has shown you of that vision that the lord has shown you all right now uh in a let's go back to the scripture now faith is the substance of things hoped for that word substance is a greek word uh eupustasis eupustasis okay uh, and that word means title deed guarantee assurance substance that which underlies the apparent or a receipt okay so uh, this house uh, my house where me and claire and our kids live uh, that house is actually registered on claire my wife's name okay when we bought the house uh, we bought two houses the one was one that i was developing a construction project and the other house was this house uh, and so we had to take a home loan and so the, what we did then is we put the one on Claire's name and the other one on the construction uh, property's uh, name that was on my name okay so we had we had two houses okay so now we've already sold the the one on the land uh, so this house with that we live in is registered on Claire's name so if we take a copy of the title deed of this property then you'll notice on the property it says there uh, you know this is the the house number this is the street this is the the plot number and then it writes there the owner and then it says claire van eden okay that's my wife so she her name is on the title deed when she takes that title deed this is not the house that is not the land but is the proof that she owns that house and that land all right and so that's hypostasis uh, all right now in the scripture it says here now faith is the uh, hypostasis so faith is that receipt or that proof or the title deed that you own that picture that god has shown you all right so now let's backtrack a little bit again in heaven even is full of faith it's full of hope and it's full of love the love of god is expressed through design and purpose all right because he loves us so much that he puts all these beautiful designs and purpose in everything that he creates and in essence he creates all of creation for him and for us to enjoy together as a family okay so god expresses his love the whole of heaven is pure and full of love when we come close to god and we start to experience his love 
He gives us a picture of our future. And the whole time He will let us know, you're my child, I love you, you're valuable, I've given you purpose, uh, and, and that's the potential, that's the picture, that's the vision that I have for your life. All right, so that's the hope. And then the third part is the faith. So the faith is now a receipt to say, I've given that to you. So you don't have to fear or think I'm going to take it away from you or it's never, never going to happen. You can have faith. You can have that assurance, that trust in your heart that that vision that I've given to you will be manifested. And I'm even going to, along the way, give you instructions of how you can manifest that vision that I've given to you. What's also interesting about heaven is that when you are in heaven, uh, you experience honor all the time because God loves Jesus, God loves the Holy Spirit, uh, Jesus loves the Father, the Holy Spirit loves the Father, the Holy Spirit and the Father loves Jesus, and then the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit loves their children, they love the angels, uh, all of them uh, talk to each other with honor and with respect, and so the whole of heaven is full of love and is full of honor, and so when we talk to God, we come to Him humble and with honor, with humility and honor. And so what we do is when we come to the Lord, we have a desire in us to please the Lord. So now the Lord said um, when He was uh, uh, inspiring the Word of God that we can read, He said, the only way you're going to please me is if you have faith. So I was thinking, what does it mean if I have faith and a type of faith that can please God? And then I realized it's like this. I have to believe that God loves me. I have to believe because He loves me, He has a plan for my life. There is a vision, there is a picture, there is a hope for my life. And I have to believe because He loves me and He's given me this hope, that that hope belongs to me. And that's the faith that I have in me. And that is the way how I please God. So I please God to actually say to the Lord, Lord, I trust in you. I trust that you've given me a purpose and that this is the purpose that you've shown me and that that purpose will be manifested. And when I trust God in that way, then I please him. I want to read you the scripture. It says here in um, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right, now let's quickly go on. Uh, I want to finish this video. Uh, of course, love, the, the hope, and faith is all in heaven. And now God wants us to make this earth to look like heaven. So the more we go into heaven, the more that love, that hope, and that faith comes into us. And then when we come back into this realm, then we can release that same love, hope, and faith into the realm around us. And God actually said it like that when he taught his disciples to pray. Jesus said to them, When you pray, you must say, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right? So your kingdom come is that whole culture of love, hope, and faith that's in heaven. That needs to come. Your kingdom come. And it says, Your will be done. That purpose that the Lord has, purpose for each one of us, that value that the Lord places on each one of us, that hope that He has for us, all of that has to be manifested. And then He says, on earth as it is in heaven. So the Lord wants earth to be a duplicate of heaven. And that means the government in heaven must also, the government of earth must look like the government in heaven. The ministries on earth must look like the ministry in heaven. The technology that we develop on earth must look like the technology that's already existing in heaven and so we bring heaven to earth and so finally talking about faith i want to add this and that is that all manifestation then comes through obedience so the process is god gives you hope that's a picture then you desire that picture uh, and that is the process of uh, building faith and so then faith is enacted through taking responsibility for what god has shown us and then obedience and the obedience is in essence obedience to the holy spirit and obedience to the instructions of god obedience to what god shows us what he speaks to us uh, so that we can then go ahead and manifest 
what is in heaven. All right, so that's my, my introduction video. Uh, in this session, uh, hopefully you have an understanding of this idea of the love and the hope and faith and how it's in heaven and how we need to bring it down to earth. God bless you. Thank you.